Welcome to the first of 10 videos looking at the theme for this year's World Environment Day, which is to beat plastic pollution. Over the past three months there's been a great deal of media interest, partly promoted by the BBC television series, The Blue Planet, which was narrated by David Attenborough and highlighted some of the plight of uh, plastic pollution and its impact on sea and marine wildlife. And this, this theme, together with other associated themes about our use of plastics in our everyday life and its impact on the UK environment, has been taken very much to heart by the UK media. By way of a confession, I would like to say that I'm very much addicted to plastic or maybe it's not so much I'm addicted to it it's just that it's such a common material that's available in many different forms in the products that we buy. Take for example the camera that I'm using to record this video today. Certainly that is enclosed in a polycarbonate plastic body. Certainly our more durable items are made of plastic, such as televisions or our uh, DVD or Blu-ray players. They will be encased in plastic. But it's when we start looking at the plastic that's now being termed as single-use plastic, such as the water bottles that we might purchase when we're out for the day and become thirsty, or the single-use products that you would find in a hotel room that contain shampoo or body wash that could be used maybe once or twice during your stay and then that item is discarded. Then that's where I think there is a problem with our interaction with plastic and I would say that we need to look carefully at those uh, products and that use and whether or not there is opportunities for a more sustainable way to use those products. I'm very much looking forward to exploring our love-hate relationship we have with plastic. Certainly it's a very prevalent material in our family and business lives. I'm very much interested in exploring our use of plastics through the lens of common activities that we all share, whether it is uh, shopping, whether it's working in an office, having a meal or a hot drink when we're out, and to explore those interactions with plastic and how there are opportunities for us to go plasticless in those activities. So I hope that you'll follow me on my journey to explore the interaction that we have with plastic in our daily lives and the opportunities that we have to reduce our reliance particularly on single-use plastics and to be able to go plasticless. If you've been inspired by this video to go plasticless why not try these great action points?